chalkboard. All right, so let's move on and we'll discuss environments before uh, before DJ goes completely insane and falls asleep again. No, he's going to go insane <laughs> with that laugh. That's Whenever fucking... I go insane, oh, I fall Christ. asleep. <laughs> oh, no. I hope he falls asleep when he goes insane because, if I mean, that's pretty spooky. Um, So we can have, I don't know, potentially, what is it? Um, DJ's insane... Dreamtime place, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a completely, a completely different realm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, it would be it would be rather interesting to add an nightmare. additional realm that you can only access through dreaming. Well, we actually, now have DJ's insane Dreamtime. This this can be a, an environment that we can uh, go on to in later stages. If if you guys are happy with this, I I'm happy to do that. Um, you know, like uh, Lovecraft's, uh, like Lovecraft's Dreamland. You are, you you're gonna, and then, you're gonna make a horror world for us, aren't you? And then, <laughs> no, you're gonna make this. It, it was you guys who came up with that idea. Our, our whole world but, is gonna well, turn into a Lovecraft idea, horror. Be his dream world. It's DJ's insane dream time. Hmm. You're world. really, you're really forcing this to happen. I mean. It's going to be a horrible world, you know that. Yeah? <laughs> well, that's, a frequent that is completely on your listener, and I read also the Johnny the Homicidal Maniac graphic novel. Oh, yeah, so, I, I read those after his request, and, uh, and they're, and they're a little bit twisted, but it, they, are, they are amusing. <laughs> if uh, if that's something sweet. that you're, you're keen to get, uh, get in on, DJ, then, um, I mean, we're, I, I'm perfectly happy for something like that and I would you can love kind to of read about something like that. Build it through story or something if you want. I don't know. If you if you want to have a nightmare world, <laughs> ask me. I'll I'll design your nightmare world. If you want to have yeah. one DJ's for your insane plots. dream time world. It's gonna be biggest plot twist. Biggest it's plot true. twist. Everybody way, dies. I finished uh, I finished my avatar for one of the Okay. Wow. Um, so other other environments other than DJ's insane Dreamtime world, um. <laughs> which uh, which we can get into at a later stage. You know, and you're the you're the one from New Zealand. You're asking us about environments. You got everything. You got like yeah. you got mountains and everything. That's why he has to ask us. Look, I can just write about shitty thing. The, the shitty various. shitty things. I can just write about shitty things. <laughs> The, the dirty it ass. doesn't say mountain either. Uh, mountain ass. ranges. Uh, is that how you spell the desert or is it two S's? I can never remember. Which one's desert? Know. Which one's a desert? I don't care. Someday I'm going to be royally screwed when I end up in a desert with a dessert. Someday I'm going to be screwed and have to <laughs> write out where I, which one I want to abandon. <laughs> no. No, I will not abandon either. Actually, the desert would probably be the one to abandon. Which one do you want to leave? Your your desert or your desert? Both. Both. I want to leave, leave both of them. Um, so, swamp forest, mountain ranges, desert or desert, whichever one you want to be. So in you're going to have a desert environment. <laughs> you're going to have a desert <laughs> environment. <laughs> Maybe that can be part of DJ's insane Dreamtime world. Where you think it's some, you think it's a nice place because there's a bunch of ice cream and brownies and cupcakes and then all of a sudden <laughs> they start to eat you. Brownies. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. There you go, DJ. There's an idea. <laughs> um, the desert, desert. So environments. We definitely, we Snowy. definitely need. Uh, we need uh, shores to be to be. Uh, um, shores to be decimated. Like, um, maybe you want to have uh, maybe you want to have fjords in your shores. Oh, oh, we're getting tricksy. Those, what? Those wait, wait, would wait, be wait, beautiful. Wait, wait. What? What about we uh, have an entire delta coming out to the shoreline? Yeah. Oh. No? These words are too big. <laughs> we can we can go into those sort of finer details as well. Um, but this will set up, basically, I want to discuss, like, what environments we want to add, um, what ones we kind of like, the idea of, especially... Like the, the island being decimated idea. The island being decimated? 
What? So, well, like, islands. Islands, definitely. We definitely want islands. Um, and then what we can do is next week we can kind of go, okay, we'll look at these environments and start developing ideas for them. Um, and then we can piece it all together and hopefully start building, moving on to building the continent um, with the environments that we've created. Yeah. Sound, right. sound like a good idea? Yes. I didn't want to interrupt you much for a long time. I, I just want to send you the avatar that I finished. So if you want to implement it right now, you're sending me avatars. Okay. What did you do with um, your avatar? That's the one that I'm using as my own now. As your so own. I won't get sued from Clay <laughs> that I'm using their character as my avatar. <laughs> Fair I enough. Felt it's, sued. it's you sued, important. You well, if, if you wanna, if you wanna send me that, then uh, then definitely, and uh, we can uh, put it up. Already did. This did chat you? is too rowdy. I can't handle it. I know, right? It's so rowdy. So you should take a rest. That made let me take over. <laughs> yeah, you you sound you sound almost drunk. <laughs> yeah. Probably a little bit early in the morning for you. You need to uh, get back to sleep. No. I didn't drink anything. <laughs> I said I didn't That's drink anything. <laughs> D, DJ's early morning brew to get him kick started in the morning. A couple of shots of tequila. <laughs> Half a bottle of uh, diesel. <laughs> uh, maybe you wanna have maybe you wanna have uh, deep valleys in uh, the, your mountains like that uh, are sheltered valleys. from extreme weather, other than cold and heat. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, shelter. Schletter, Schletter. Zones, I guess. And maybe some caves in the mountains too that are like humongous caves, so people build their villages in them. So people tunnel in them, you know, make make little stone yeah, homes. Yeah, I mean, and you know, earthquakes <laughs> kill all of them. Do do whatever, do whatever, you know, just. Or uh, villages that are carved into mountain sides. That Those would are, kind of uh, be cave systems too. I think that would fall under. Mm, that'd be that'd be something that. I don't know, a uh, culture would end up doing around that would, the cave that would still be in the mountain range. That would still be the mountain range environment. Yes. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Yes. Um, quick, important question. Do we want any magical influence Ooh. for our environments I'm talking about things like floating islands or things in the sky or possibly things far underground that don't really make sense or <laughs> DJ's insane dream time world <laughs> DJ's insane dream time world that I don't know that might be magic in and of itself how do you guys? How do you guys feel about things like the, uh, like, floating landscapes and things like that? Yeah, um, like an avatar. It's a, it's an extremely it's a very high fantasy sort of thing, so that is it does kind of high fantasy. Yeah, it, it it delves into the, um, the hidden magic, but in a very very obvious way. Mm. What, uh, so I had something. I had to switch something off. What? What was it? That part. Um, so talking about the about possibly um, adding things like um, floating landscapes, which is mm -hmm. extreme, extremely high fantasy, um, relies on hidden magic, and it's a very obvious concept of hidden magic that will not be explainable. You can't ignore unless that. You yeah, can't ignore the. Uh. Yeah, it's it's there in front of you. Um, it's something that potentially can cause. I don't know. Can cause can cause conflict in the terms of trying to explain it. But if you don't explain it, and that's there's where always, there's always going. Yeah, there's always going to be 
different viewpoints and theories on how, why, what, when, where. <clears throat> <laughs> who done it? Who who done it? Exactly, exactly. Who done it? <laughs> That's that is the ultimate question. Floating landscape. Who done it? I'm imagining just case, like just in case you guys didn't know, that's a, that's a word. <laughs> I'm imagining some rural uh, citizens of our world who's like, who done it? Who done it? <laughs> no, that that's that's a word. Here, I swear to God, it's a word. I swear, it is a word. No, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page of it right now. <laughs> um. Yes. I'm not sure we should add floating landscapes yet. It's something you can still edit in. Yeah, this is something that... Th that's why I'm kind of hesitant about it, because it's like, if we put it in in the beginning, there's always going to be that question, because it is something that is obvious. It's right in front of you, and there isn't going to be a way to explain it in a natural manner. At all, well, <laughs> ever. Uh, if you can, you can either use magic or you can say like, "Oh, there's some, there's some, I don't know, there's some crystals that the, are the rejecting the other are materials that are on the ground or something." Sorry, Tricky, you're just kind of cutting through DJ a bit there. What? What? Yeah, what? yeah. What? You know, if you can use nature, or you can use magic. Like, there are some crystals that are je that are rejecting other materials that are on the ground or gases, as he said. Yes, and this is this is something that a lot of um, a lot of people use in these fantasy settings to explain this kind of thing. Like, um, I'll take Wildstar as the obvious example because they do have floating landscape in Wildstar, and they have a type of crystal um, in in the universe or on on nexus that they um describe they call loftite which is described as having unique sort of properties to be that makes it sort of levitate and and uh, and pull away from the rest well, of the world you can always say like um uh, it the earth has magnetic qualities and it kind of you know pulls towards the sun or you know repels the earth or something like that yeah, uh, like mm. like DJ said, this could be something that we could look at further on down the track, possibly. Um, maybe once we start talking about our magic um, and how we want to sort of implement that, maybe we can look at, okay, um, maybe we can come up with a concept for how the how well, landscapes depends, can come in. If we in really want to have in. magic, then we can't explain everything. No, some no. Of, some of the stuff has to be, like, the answer has to literally be... Someone used magic at some yes. point. Yes, but if we do it from the the start, then it has to be something that came before people and all that kind of stuff. In which case, there has to be something inherently magical in the planet, which we we've kind of talked about doing that kind of aspect of having the planet having uh, sort of a magical. Well, why don't you throw in like a magical alien environment in there then? Which it would be kind of like a source of the magic. Yes. <laughs> so either like, you know, deep in the earth or somewhere remote or, you know, some bullshit. Whatever you want to say, really. You can just say there's some environment somewhere like... We'll, we'll put know. things down to... this. I want to talk about this a lot later on. Um, but we'll put thing, put it down into a category of, a, of extreme landscape. So this is beyond the scope of what we know in reality. Sort Talking of. about extreme landscapes, um, you want to add like um, a volcano maybe? And does it have, uh, do you want it to be special? To be, a, Do you want it to be the unique and only existing volcano? Or is there like a landscape full of lava and volcanoes and constantly burning and, and, mm. and stuff, you know? Or like, um, uh, you want to have uh, what is it? So hell, continental, continental so drift. Hell. <laughs> so it's gonna be D Day's dream world. I don't, uh, I don't really want to get into the whole continental drift theory and explaining how our landscapes are formed at this stage. I think if we decide on how we want things and how we want our land to look, 
And then once we're happy with that, then go, right, okay, let's let's look. Let's decide let, how let, it Yeah, let, let's give it an explanation as to how it got here, um, which would probably go along those lines of, you know, continental drift theory. Um, or, you know, more magic. Or, or magic, you know, poof, the planet appeared like that. Um, <laughs> poof, poof. God farted. God farted, and out came our planet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it would be a Ford's Middle Midland. <laughs> um. So we can we can we can go over that kind of stuff once we're happy with how things look, how we want kind of the land to be. I think. I don't think there's really much point in going, okay, how did this all come together? <clears throat> About we design it, make it, set it in stone, and then go, this is how it happened. Set it in stone, haha, <laughs> funny pun. Lou, Lou, Lou. Um, I got a spontaneous idea. Um, I think, uh, oh. I, think mm-hmm. it, I read it somewhere or saw it. Uh, somewhere in, I think in Russia it was. There's a certain uh, countryside... <laughs> It has coals. It has coal. Uh, I don't know what it's called beneath the ground. Um, and uh, it's very, it's very close to the surface. And uh, I, it somehow got set on fire. I don't know how. Uh, and oh I don't God! Remember when? But since then, the coal has been burning beneath the surface, and. Um, uh, it, it leads to spontaneous combustions on the surface, like a tree oh, starts burning for no reason, and uh, other like you know what I mean. I think it's some kind of yeah. We we've all concluded that Russia is now hell. Well, yeah, like Putin is working towards that. <laughs> <laughs> we all see it. Putin's gonna be like, "Hey, I mean, instead of arresting you, you can go live in this uh, this coal land. <laughs> coal land, <laughs> you where you everything's burning sleeping. underground. And survive. if you make a house, it might spontaneously combust." <laughs> and uh, um, and also, you know, there's always it's always the the, clo- the coal is always slowly burning away beneath the surface. You know, I mean, it's some kind of glowing thing. It's going on for like I think twenty year, twenty five years already, and then there's another landscape in uh, I don't know some kind of Istan. I didn't know which one. I don't know which one. And oh my it's god! It's called it's called the Hell Mouth or something. Uh, I, oh I can look it up. You remember that? Um, well, the Hell Mouth in Destiny. I think it's. Um, I think it's. Uh, <laughs> it's from Destiny. No, it's and not from distance. distance. It's no. uh, uh, um. Yes, yes. Wait, is... gates, gates of hell. That's what it's called. That it's there. um. Uh, There's another place somewhere in China where, like, um, the ground is just completely mountains, but it's level. And so it's all it's just a bunch of jagged spikes that point up out of the ground and then they just drop hundreds and hundreds of feet. Hang on. So I'll it's give just you a link. spikes. I'll give you a link here. Uh, I found it. It's called Gates to Hell. Door to Hell. I mean you someone of you started uh the Special environments started the 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 special landscapes. So those are the two things that came to my mind: the door to hell in Turkmenistan, and and, uh, and that burning coal countryside in in Russia. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, fully just uh, smudged the hell out of my glasses just then. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, take me. a look at the link that I sent on Skype. I oh don't see your link. I don't see the link either. Huh? I posted it into a. Uh, hang on. You didn't post it in a group chat. Here, I posted it into Neros. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Oh my that god, I can't it. see things. 
There we go. Now I can see it. All right, what is this? It's a natural Medo gas deposit. Hell? Oh my god, that looks awesome. <laughs> oh god, this yeah, is a natural gas, gas site burning. It's a natural gas deposit, constantly burning since 1971. Holy crap! <laughs> This There's a like long shit. time for something Ooh, to be burning like, for. It's just a hole <laughs> in the ground. Like, you're walking by, and then there's a hole in the ground with fire in it, and you're like, what? You're like, oh, there's a hole there. Holy Ooh, fire shit. ground. It really I is. Mean, look at that. It's just a hole in the ground of fire. Um, what's another one? It's what it is. It's fascinating, also, you know. That's pretty cool. This is another landscape that I was thinking of. Um, a, a salt flat. Just going to. If I can. Nope. My computer's completely stopping work. Oh my god, how big is this image? Look at this thing, it's massive. This image is. It's being... Wikipedia, of course, it's massive. <laughs> Look how slow it's loading on my computer. My computer doesn't load things slowly. Yeah. Look at the size of this thing. I can, oh, yeah, I can see people. What? Yeah, that is a huge What image. I was talking about is um, uh, seam fire. That's what I'm talking yeah, we'll, about. We'll wait for that to load and then I'll... Uh, anyway, that's what a salt flat is. I'll save that at some point. What's a salt flat? It's basically a dried up ocean bed. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so... Um, so I think it's a good like idea this. if we just like grab some of these images and stuff, find landscapes that you really, really like, that you'd like to incorporate, and... Uh, and look at um, sending image those images, and and I'll uh, I can put them into into our folder, and we can build up this around one. that. If I can save the image, this DJ, this image. is too spooky. Spooky. Oh Where is it? man! World I creation. Week four. Salt flat. Okay, save. Done. Great. Now I'm just googling extreme environments. Extreme. <laughs> Extreme. I'm looking at I'm looking at an article with uh, five uh, five places are uh, still on fire. Five places still on fire. Fan fantastic. Yes, there's uh, there's the burning berg, uh, the brennende berg, the burning mountain in Germany. It's got uh, it's a mountain with um, with a coal seam that's been burning for over 300 years now. The tale is told mm. of a shepherd who started a wood fire on a tree stump in 1688, which burned to the roots and ignited the coal seam. The burning Both. coal seam is now evidenced by glowing embers and sulfurous smoke rather than flames as in the past. The area is not as dangerous as it was previous centuries and it's open for visitors. A hike is recommended for days after a rain. <laughs> Alkaline environment. Interesting. Environments that are so Before acidic. Seams. That most life can't live there. Hmm. Great. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> and also, there's uh, there's a region in Pennsylvania that's uh, where there are coal seams. All right. So that yeah, gives us so some ideas of like some more extreme environments, I guess. Um. We also want things like massive lakes, all that kind of stuff. There are also extreme environments in New Zealand. You know that, right? No. Like oh, if yeah. you go into the mountains, oh, if yeah. you go into the mountains, then um, um, there there will be all the seasons at one day. Like it's gonna be very warm and very shiny in the mountains uh, at a certain height, and then in, in, uh, and then when night falls. Deep winter, deep winter mm -hmm. follows the summer. Oh, and winter yeah. is coming. There are insects. There are <laughs> winter is to not that kind coming. Of, uh, drastic change. Yeah, so they don't die or freeze, freeze or burn on stuff. This is this is um, so that uh, I guess that doesn't really come under extreme landscapes, or does it? Mm. Kind of. <laughs> Drastically leading us back to the topic. <laughs> jungle what else um maybe there would be uh huge and flat like shallow lakes maybe oh I mean, christ what the shallow lakes 
Yeah, shallow. Yes. Um, shallow. I mean, like maybe ten meters deep, oh, and yeah. like ma- many, like the like weird. the Arrow Sea on uh, what is called in English. Damn, all you <laughs> English names. <laughs> no idea. Uh, well, let me. Let me Wiki t- Wikipedia, please tell me the English name for this. <laughs> Come on, Wikipedia, do your job, damn it. Um, the Arrow well, Sea. The Arrow Sea. Oh, oh god. Oh no, god can't help you now. Oh yeah, the average div is like only 29 feet. Weird. Maximum the depth. Is, well, I mean, uh, that kind of comes under like oceans and stuff when we start. Fiddling with that kind of stuff. God I, damn it. I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, do you guys want to go into massive detail right. with some of these continents and stuff? Like where we actually are, you know, tracing the landscape, the shorelines, what's above, below the sea, um, what's so far You're inland right. and then further inland and then, you know, Sorry, we, that's, stuff right that's now. not something we start now. <laughs> this is yeah, right. yeah. It's gonna. It's it's. I don't know. Going going into such vast detail at this stage, I think we'll just slow everything right down. If we get a really good idea, go okay. So we're gonna have, you know, how many big main continents, um, and then we can decide on their basic structure for environments and stuff. So what environments can be included across them all? Of course. You can have like a vast number of different and for. varying environments in a single continent. Um, it doesn't have to be that far apart, really. But just getting a gist of Here. what the land is going to be like in different places. If you want to look at extreme environments, check out this link. Extreme. Extreme. Well, it's more spooky kind of than extreme. 10 I guess. real places straight out of a nightmare. Truck Lagoon. This is the place I was talking about. This national park. Beneath us, what? What is it? It's a ship it's graveyard. Number five it's the largest ship graveyard in the world. Number what? five on this list is the place I was talking about before. Singa de Bemaraha. Yeah, you won't be able to pronounce it. Don't worry. Yes, about it. that looks ridiculous. Like scary, ridiculous. Yeah, all those pointy Madagascar is one of the strangest places to ever see. Comprised all of a forest. Pointy... It's kind of cool. It's like a labyrinth of yeah rocks and stuff. Can I say the image? Oh, what's the place that's here that has stuff it's like that? It's a forest. It's a forest made of stone and wood. Inglis Falls. I don't know if you know what Inglis Falls is, but it's spooky. Uh, nope, not a clue. Not a clue. Inglis no, Falls is a place here in Angle. Canada. It, there's um. Done it more than once. There, oh, there's. Living in Canada. Oh yeah. There's a, a big-ass waterfall, that's why it's called Inglis Falls, first of all, but also around it, there's all these um, big-ass cracks, and they just go up to hundreds of feet down. You can go hike around the area, but um, there's these big, or big, there's these orange flags all over the place where these cracks are in the ground, and you can go walk down the path, and some of the paths go through them, and you can look up, and you can see people walking by the crack beside it, like 50 feet up just going by looking down it's scary as hell actually I think I know what you're uh, what you're referring to um there's lots of really interesting places on here ooh that lake doesn't look nice <laughs> located in Russia blue lake Oh, yeah. Isn't that like the deepest lake in the world or something? Or so? A lake with no or visible no, stream like... running to or away from it. Blue Lake is fed and drained by a series of underwater caverns and passages. Oh, 
That looks mysterious. It's kind of scary. It's because uh, you don't know about it. And, uh, in uh, Russia, right. yeah? Uh, people say it's bottomless. <laughs> yes. That'd be kind of cool. We should have just like a deep. I'm taking. I'm looking at the pit. pictures. Damn. We'll just have like Those. a deep pit somewhere with water. <laughs> we'll just go down. That's just a keep, really just blue lake. Down. It's just in keep. a crater, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Don't know. Um. Uh. Anything else we want to add to this? Or um, mountain, uh, like meth, lakes, meth biomes. What? Environments that are completely made up of meth. Yes, Tricky, that's exactly what we want. <laughs> it's exactly what we're after. Um, we can look at, in that case, um, crystal-like structures or something. Yeah, you want to have maybe... Well, um, that's not completely what I meant, but hey, I, I led into that, so... You you led into that. I, I'm proud um, of that. I'm going to go for the uh, crystal structures that make of landscapes. Of, of meth. meth. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal-like structures. Tricky's vision of meth. Uh, you want you to go into that... I'm trying to find a picture uh, of these. You want to go into that... Um, Crystals, uh, crystals making landscapes thing. What? Crystals making landscapes. So like, the entire landscape sort of crystal like. Ish. Or yeah, crystals. Yeah, kind of like that. Like in, like in WoW. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think you of where it went. You wanna go for that? Here um, we go. I'm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of, um, yeah, just natural, natural occurring crystal, crystal-like protrusions and structures and stuff that have come out from the earth or something, to form a very like also, unique landscape, those, like magical landscape things. That's what I kind of see more of being like one of the. It is magical landscapes. They like yeah. It is. It is more under that extreme go. sort of high fantasy. I found style. a picture of it. Of what? Of the of uh, English Falls, one of the places that I'm. Okay. Trying to uh, explain. And not managing to. Not managing. To, not managing <laughs> to at all. Right. This is the link. Let's have a look at this then. That's a tiny, tiny picture. But that is kind of interesting. Let's go up wow. to 50 feet down. Interesting. And there's no way out either. Like yeah, just the force the works in strange ways. Indeed. I mean, this is these are the kind of details and stuff that we can kind of develop how on. Did on. That, how did that come to be? It's right on the Canadian Shield, which is where... um two plates rubbed together mm. so there's both so there's a ton of rock there for one like it's pretty much all rock and um the spots that aren't rock are nothing like they're just <laughs> to they're just uh, holes tears. tears in the ground yeah so basically you can like fall down there and never come back up yeah if you don't have anyone with, uh, anyone with you or they fall down with you and the trees go right, grow right over the stone, too. Like, they don't grow out of dirt or anything, which is kind of fucked up. And they are holding themselves over the edges and, like, crossing, like, bridges. Oh, yeah, some of them there. grow straight out of freaking completely 90-degree walls of stone. Sounds pretty cool. Definitely something worth having a look at. Uh, well, there's another one. This one is people actually in one of the cracks. Save that save there's somebody somebody in the crack oh yeah like look there, out somebody's caverns. in the crack alrighty well um, I think we've got the general idea of kind of what we want for environments and stuff um, we need to go into uh, 
I don't think going into massive amounts of detail for the environment is really necessary too much at this point, but if yeah. we talk about like the continents and how many continents we want and then discuss the different environments that we can do for each continent one and area con- and thing. Just just one mega continent. One mega <laughs> you want one mega continent, Tricky. Just just one that matters. <laughs> it's the only one that matters. <laughs> Completely created from crystal like structures. Yes, it's gonna be called um methamphetamine. It's gonna be Trekkie's insane dream time world. Oh great. <laughs> um, DJ, I know you're probably wanting to get going and uh, and have a bit of a rest. I think we've probably been going for just about long enough anyway. We've been going for almost two hours. Is there anything else that you guys want to add before we finish? Um Um Certainly not. No, DJ? I, I'd leave if you close the stream. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so, not very as constructive soon as, as soon as you had streaming, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> as soon as we're done, I'm going back to bed. Sorry, I'm not very constructive right now. That's fine. Thank you very much for being here, dude. I know it has been uh, pretty hard for you because it's kind of really early in the morning for you. I know how that feels. I got up really early in the morning um, on Friday. Uh, Friday? Yeah, on Friday I was up at uh, 4.30 in the morning to... Uh, oh, good work. To uh, to start my streaming. Unfortunately, I couldn't. So that didn't work well for me. But I fully understand the sentiment. <laughs> Not being able to think quite clearly. Um, alrighty, so... I'm happy with that. We've got our lunar phase sort of stuff. Um, I can talk to you guys a bit later about how we kind of will do the math and all that kind of stuff. But that, um, our environments, what... I'm just going to keep bombarding you with pictures, but you can look at them later. That's perfectly fine. You can bombard me with pictures if you like. Um, we can definitely... I'll, I'll create a folder um, that picture images can go into. And I'll give you guys rights to edit it so that you can just add stuff whenever you want. Um, you and we will we will go on from there. Um, I think next week... Um, <clears throat> if we look at, like I said, continents and deciding on how many continents we're going to do. Um, and then we can move on to sort of shaping them a little bit and then we will decide on uh, on the environments to to kind of add into them but we won't get into too much of the environments next week more just decide on continents and all that kind of stuff shape shape our land sort of Build sound good land. sound sound good we can start on that stuff um mm. and then in a couple of weeks time we can uh, we can start going over uh the environments and and bits and pieces. Um, what the but I think... fuck is this? <laughs> no idea, oh, dude. Lord. No idea. That's spooky. But I think that's uh, that's mostly 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 us. Are you putting? What the hell is that? <laughs> Who's this tricky? Oh, that's a uh, that that's mass. a lake. By yeah. The way. That's surrounding with a, a landmass there. I'm pretty sure that's somewhere in Quebec. Looks like it's possibly an ancient volcano or something that's kind of collapsed, and it's just got the ring around or something. I know it. It's it just has a lake around it. That's all I know. I, I remember um, I was looking at could be Google Maps world. playing around with it, and I saw uh, that freaking like, what the fuck is that? There's just a circle around this one little piece of land. I, one I had, little piece of land. <laughs> I'd look. Into it. it was it was uh, interesting. Yeah. Um, in the um, in the, in Africa, there's a there's a lake where um, all the all the the fauna, like I don't know, was it the flora, like uh, all the plants, they are floating on the water, moving with the water and the current. That's cool. In the lake. That's pretty cool. And, and everything is adjusting to it too. I saw it. I saw it on a documentation about the Nile, 
and its origins. And uh, seasonal, the, um, the, 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 the plants and everything. It's even trees that like are floating on, 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 huge, um, on huge amounts of, uh, I don't know what it's, it is. It's not even really earth. It's like a conglomerate of, 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 of roots or something. And it's all, it's all just floating on the water, living perfectly. Let's go. You if cannot you can, walk on it, I think. But uh, if you can find insects uh, and everything is adjusting to it, pictures or anything, then uh, then definitely send them in to it's to me, and I'll add them in because that sounds that sounds awesome. Like that sounds like a really cool sort of environment to uh, to add in. Um, and we can go. We can we can just kind of follow this. Like, if you guys want to talk environments and go over environments and stuff, we can kind of just keep oh, okay. keep following through with that from from time to time as we uh, as we develop the land masses, and then we can then we can kind of put it in its place, yeah. sort of thing. That uh, last picture that I sent you, by the way, it's a crater, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, kind of looks like one. <laughs> kind of. Um, all right, I think uh, I think we're pretty much pretty much sorted. We know what we want to do next week ish. Yes. Yes. Keep sending me in pictures and stuff. I will give you guys. Uh, Making dank hair memes. Yes. Oh, by the way, <laughs> now that you bring that up, Trekker, eh, you uh, you missed out. Dank tracking meme yet? No, no. Yesterday, while I was playing um, Pillars of Eternity. Um, I ran into creatures that were called dank spawlings. What? And they caught, they dropped <laughs> dank spores. Oh, I could have had such dank memes. I was like, oh no, this is so dank. Tricky's missing out. <laughs> son of a bitch. It's in there. It's That's in my, in my playlist trick. somewhere. I haven't made any, I uh, I'm going to find that. I haven't made any highlights of I'm it gonna yet. I'm going to go find that. You if you find the timestamp for it, let me know and I'll highlight it. Okay. <laughs> I need those dank spores. <laughs> those dank spores. Definitely. Definitely. But that all right. We're we're digressing so much here. Digressing. <laughs> and DJ's starting to pass out. He is. Well, he is. I'm thank just you so listening. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, DJ. Tricky. Yeah. As always. Fantastic. We got a little while to go yet on this. We're four weeks in. Um We've made some pretty good progress. We have a planet. We have seasons. We have quite a bit of uh, other stuff to it. I don't um, know what this is. And a few dank memes, courtesy of Drakey. Mm, dank memes, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for those. Um, we will come back next week. Uh, DJ, I don't suspect you'll be available next week for this. Nope. Nope. Fair enough. Fair enough. If he's not coming, I'm not coming. I quit. <laughs> I quit. You're not allowed to quit. Not allowed. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be back same time next week. Do the same thing. Um, if you guys can't join me, I will uh, I will see who else is around. But hopefully, Tricky, you'll be able to uh, to join me well, at some stage. Be able to. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to. We'll figure out figure it out from there. Thank you again, DJ, for showing up so early in the morning. Um. He's asleep already. Yeah, he's a he's asleep. Well, I'll go asleep now. He's asleep already. I'm just not much of a talker, as you may have noticed. Well, probably not at like you know four, five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, whatever time it is right now. Too early, too late, whatever you want to call it. Exactly. Exactly. Not the right time. I'd be at work for two hours now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't necessarily have to talk and contribute constructive, creative ideas at work, do you? <laughs> no. That sounds like the kind no. of job I need. No. Oh. <laughs> it's a good job. It's a good job. Um, alrighty, guys. Thank you very much. Again, um, we will close up here, and we will be back um, next week. Same time, same oh, channel. My chat so rowdy. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to catch DJ and Tricky, links are, of course, down below. And I'll find you. What? 
And behind? I'm just talking to the viewers. I'm just talking to the viewers who heard you just mention the links. If you don't <laughs> click on that link, I'll find you. Click on that link. Alright guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. That is us. Kakite from me. And we will see you again next week. Mm, goodbye. Good night. Sleep well. <laughs> CJ, no. You see, you see, that's where you cross the line with, you know, being funny and scaring people. Okay, let's just establish... He, he's a got a scary goodbyes. He's got a scary goodbyes. He can do that. For me, it's just Kakite. <laughs> For me, it's just, you know, goodbye. Uh, why? Why, DJ? Good enough. I'm going to have nightmares now. Good. Good enough.